Hey guys, and welcome back to another Conan Exiles video. Today we are in the Ashlands of the Isle of Siptar, building a dark prison to hold Siptar's most nefarious prisoners. This build is mod free, so without further ado, let's get started. Firstly, we'll start off with, of course, the base plate. I began by drawing out the foundations according to the blueprint you can see on screen now atop a large rock, as I want to make sure that the prison has a nice imposing silhouette against the sky, and sits quite high above the rest of this section of the Ashlands. This prison will be built almost entirely from storm glass, so it should fit this area quite nicely. Once I'd finished the initial base plate, I then began to create a staircase that runs down the rock and will eventually reach ground level. This area was quite forgiving in terms of clipping, so I didn't really run into pretty much any difficulties building the staircase. I could have added elevator or ladder access to this prison, and that's something you may want to do if you extend this build out, if you build it yourself, but in the end I thought that a nice winding staircase would be a much better suit for this dark, imposing prison. This stairway includes a small intersecting passage about three quarters of the way down, and a small bridge that crosses over a small gap in the two rocks near ground level. Once I'd finished off this staircase, I then covered the foundations with storm glass fence foundations. Next for the walls. I started off on the ground floor where I built out a small intake area and a cramped corridor leading around to the ground floor cell block. This prison is going to be quite cramped and unpleasant as it's intended to be a very oppressive place to keep prisoners. The cells on this floor will be 2x2 two two each and this floor also includes a staff entryway to the back side of the intake area, an entry to what will become the kitchen and also a staircase to access the first floor. I built the walls two tiles high on the intake, cell block and kitchen, and one tile high on the prison corridor to make it feel a bit more uncomfortable. Next, the first floor. I built up the walls above intake to create a small break room, and then began on the first floor cell block. This is a simple design that mirrors the one below. I added vaulted ceilings to cap off the ground floor walls, and built the first floor walls two tiles high again, mirroring the cells on this floor. I did also cover the top of the ground floor cells with flat ceilings to make sure the windows within them were actually functional. Next for the second floor. Again, I built things up pretty much the same here as they are below. I initially stuck to the same cell design, though I would later remove the separating walls and two out of the three doorways to create a large 2x6 group cell on this floor for the less dangerous prisoners. Finally, the third floor. This was built up similarly to the floors below, though this floor will hold a single one occupant cell designed for the most dangerous prisoner held here. Next for the roofing. I firstly capped off the third floor and then added two 
two by two tower sections at two tiles high, that's a lot too, to create a more brutal style roof. I then used regular and inverted sloping sides alongside storm glass roof pieces to cap off any of the smaller gaps in the cells or staircase sections with normal open gable roofs. I also went back to the main roof, covering the towers with fences, roof corners and creating a hip roof that sits between the towers. I went back down to the kitchen and added a pyramid hip roof to sit over this room and then did the same over the break room. I also added storm glass rooftop pieces over the cramped ground floor corridor to smooth it into the build a bit better. Finally, I added buttresses around the build. I felt the prison looked a bit too flat on the exterior, especially the backside, and the buttresses are a great way around that issue. I ran them down into the stone first, then building them up to the same height around the build, using walls after a certain point. I finished off these buttresses with storm glass rooftop caps, which provide a nice gothic feeling to the buttresses. Finally, when the shell of the build was done, it was then time to of course furnish. Approaching the build, it's a very dark and imposing structure that is lit fairly gently with radium torches throughout the exterior and interior. The bridge section and pathway beneath the stairs worked quite nicely to make this section a bit more intricate, and the final stretch up to the prison is quite an intimidating visual. Reaching intake, this is a no frills area where the prisoners items and names are taken and they're sent into the prison through the cramped corridor. The ground floor is cell block A, which holds two person cells. These cells aren't entirely full at the moment, but there are a few prisoners here, including thieves, murderers and dark priests. This floor also includes access to the rear section of the intake area, alongside a cramped, rustic kitchen designed to provide simple, often not terribly pleasant food to the prisoners kept here. On the first floor we have a small break room nestled onto the right side of the area, alongside some more cells. The cells on this floor are designed for individuals for slightly more dangerous prisoners. One of these prisoners is a mystic who sits quietly on her prison bed for most hours of the day.
next to the second floor. This is a fairly simple floor holding a single group cell designed for the less combative prisoners. These prisoners tend to get on well enough to warrant being housed together so they aren't too much of a concern. Finally, the third floor is where the being is held. He is an ancient mystic, silent and blinded by his own headdress. Kept locked in his cell for the safety of others, he's proved massively hazardous to anyone he comes in contact with, and it's unknown exactly what would happen if he were to escape. And there we have it, a dark prison within the Ashlands of Siptar. Thanks for watching, it's been quite a while since I last did a prison build, and it's one I've been wanting to redo for a while. I think this prison works well as a, well, dark prison for dangerous prisoners, but in the future, I might see if I can design a prison to hold the more common criminals in a normal setting, rather than these dangerous and often darkly mystical prisoners. If you enjoy my content, all the links to my Twitch, Twitter, Discord, Patreon, Host Havoc affiliate page, NordVPN discount and NordPass discount are available in the description below. However, of course, you can simply just leave a like, a comment or subscribe, any of those are very greatly appreciated. Patrons get a bunch of nice benefits including sneak peeks of videos, your name in every video, custom made wallpapers in 1080p and 4k resolutions, full size build blueprints, Discord roles and more. On that note, a massive thanks to our patrons Sadialot, Randar, Connor, Ivy, Torn, Ill-Fated, CoffeeMan04, Jacques, Marion Ladd, Ryan, Ben, Alfric, and Eagle Rose. As always, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you soon.